Hello, we are Football Couple. Hello. And today we're going to be opening every Panini Mini Tin that was released for the 1920 season. So we have a Premier League Adrenaline XL Tin, as well as a Premier League Football 2020 Tin. And then we also picked up a Euro 2020 Adrenaline XL Tin and the Euro 2020 Preview Tin with the stickers inside so that is all the tins that has been released throughout the season so we did previously do this with all the panini multi-packs so if you did miss that you can check that in the i card but for now let's just crack into this premier league adrenaline xl tin yes and if you do want to see more football openings then make sure you are subscribed to our channel and please click the notification bell so you can keep right up to date with all of our videos yeah so this tin does come with two limited editions and six packs so limited editions are just on the top here, so we'll pop those there for a second and get the, tin, to get the packs out. Okay, so the two limited editions that you do get in here is the Trussard and the Salah. So very cool two limited editions there. Got a nice little pair. Let's pop it in the back. The Champion Salah. Yes, and then we'll crack into these packs. So we do still need quite a few cards really, so if we can tick any off that would be awesome. Yeah, we need one or two diamond savvy silks, like one of each of those. Yes, okay, so we're going to kick things off with a power pairing, the Watford. And then we have a backwards card. Okay, so we have a Mina, a Zuma, and then a Wijnaldum, Schmeichel, and it is just a Holobas, randomly backwards. Pretty lame pack to kick things off. See if that can improve. It's quite a tight pack. Maybe we're starting as we need to go on. I hope not. I hope we can get some good stuff. Looks like we have here. We've got a triple threat hot spurs. And a backwards card, just like you. So that'll be out of it. Be a base. <laughs> I hope not. Then we've got a proper Davis, Benteke, McNeil. And a hero, Ashley Barnes. Oh, okay, so it was just my pack that sucked. So hopefully this one's going to be better. Let's hope. I haven't had very much luck, really, apart from the Invincible cards for some reason. And oh, this one's like mega stuff. Yeah, stuck. I think we need the Van Dyke Golden Ball as well, is it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, that would be a bonus to get. Oh, definitely. Okay, so hopefully this pack is going to be a little better. We've had the rest oh, like okay. twice each, at least. Cool, so we have a game breaker which isn't actually one we get too often i think we still need one but it's definitely not that one uh oh. nice okay interesting it's quite stuck <laughs> okay so we also have a hambash grealish and a haller and then a sanchez and we end with a top keeper of kepper i thought you had two insects no 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 so which of these tins do you guys think was the best? Which did you open yourselves? And how are you doing for these collections? Yeah, that'd be really cool to know. Is this a non-insert pack all the way through? We've got Matt Target, Kyle. Oh, oh nice. So I <laughs> awesome. said it would be a bonus. What a bonus that is. So like I said, we do need this. This will be going to our collection. I was not expecting that at all. I thought it was going to be a complete non-insert pack. Van Dyke, Golden Baller, Epic. Very, very awesome. Then we have Shane Long, Buendia, and Fred. So when you think the pack's going to be lame, when it's absolutely epic. Unless it's me, then it's it's probably just going to be lame. That, okay, so that is awesome. Really, really happy that we can add that one to the collection. That's a good tin no matter what now. Even if yes. you get bad packs. These packs are pretty much just bonus packs now. Which is a good job, because we have a power pairing of Sterling and Sane. Sane, of course, leaving. Has he already left? Less, yes, yeah. yeah. Ages ago. Yeah, you just go, yeah. Okay, so we have a Mooset, a Zimmerman, and then we have Ross Barkley, Pickford, and a Dunk. Okay, final pack for this first tin. And then we'll open the other three as well. All tins getting opened today. Oh, nice, we've got a Max Aaron's Diamond, a Wambisaka, Salah. Van Dyke, is this nice. a Liverpool pack? Richelson and Pulisic. So that yeah. is the first Premier League tin 
the golden ball have been the highlight and we'll move now on to the sticker tin and as you can see it does include 10 packs yeah just in case you can't tell it's nice and clear there 10 packs of stickers and we had opened the update tin for this as well yeah it's but, actually the same tin yeah but this tin we haven't opened before this one took us a while to get so we'll try and get the packs out like you did but they're kind of stuck in there actually so i'll just take one because they're not all coming out together and they're nice and shiny packs as well these they seem more shiny than normal so we start this tin off with a moise keen a troy deeney shiny nice obviously the captain then a goodmanson madison and a proper Oop. okay nice so do you want me to try and get them out yeah you can Okay, cool. Yeah, I think for the uh, mini tins this for this season, I think the Premier League card one is the only sort of unique tin, which is a little bit of a shame because the sticker one was repeated in the update collection, and I think they're both the same tin, just in a different box. In okay, case so we have a Gazi, a Kyote, and nice. nice, we have a Lacazette, Chong left. And a Duffy, so non insert pack for me again. That was. Okay, you're not having much luck with this Premier League. I know, totally stuck. Stuff. See if we can get one of those Cadbury's Legends, because we haven't had many of those. We do have the Etihad Stadium, and a shiny De Gea. And then we have a duo from Burnley, Ashley Barnes and Chris Wood. Then we get Diego Jota. And Mason Mount. Nice. So at least you're getting some good stuff today. Okay, so next pack. It looks like it's going to be a little better, so that's good. So your look's turning now, is it, Mrs? I hope so. Nice. Okay, nice. So it is the Arsenal kit. So that's a quite cool one to get, actually. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? And then we have one of the contents page. We have Norwich. And then Wolves. Team there. And two shinies in here. We have the Hornets and Wolves. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then finally, we have a random Pratt. So, is that your first? That was your only base in that pack. I know, Pratt. right? That was crazy. I enjoyed that pack. So, that pack made up for all the rest of the packs. Yeah. Well, another kit this time Norwich. Then we have Ashley Barnes. Nice. The former Huddersfield player, Philip Billing. A Buffal. And the Bournemouth badge to go with that Billing. Okay, very cool. <laughs> So it's been pretty good so far, actually, hasn't it? Yeah, this has been uh, probably our most successful sticker opening, right? Maybe, although we did do quite well in the multi-packs, so... We did. Okay, so next pack, and we have a Codra. Codger. Codger. A Cahill. And then a Conser. Gomez. And we're back to the non-insert packs. We have De La Feo. Turn through these packs. Another shiny for me, another two shinies for me. We have Laporte and Redmond. And in our base, we have Nathaniel Klein. Did he play at all that season? Besic. Kelly, is that, the, is that the pack with players that didn't play? Yeah, it seems so, doesn't it? Okay, so next pack. Not too many left, actually. Quite a lot of shinies so far, though. Yeah. Okay, nice. We have another contents page. We have the Chelsea one. And then we have a Bennett. And Freeman. Westwood. And um, El Mohammedi. Is this my last pack for the stickers? End on something strong then. Maybe not. We've got Captain Billy Sharp. The Man United kit. Oh, random shiny in the middle. Vinagre. And it's the Leicester team, the Foxes. And then a Mane, pretty cool. Oh, it was a pretty interesting pack at the end, wasn't it? Okay, so last pack for the Premier League stickers. So hopefully we can end strong. Maybe a Cabri's one, or an Elite. That would be pretty nice. Okay, but we're starting off with a Maitland Niles. So we've got, is that good? Is that good? Okay, then we have a Jorginho. That's a quite a cool one. I like that, actually. And a West Ham duo. Back and the back. Newcastle duo. duo. 
And then we end with Lanzini. Okay, so it was an alright pack. It wasn't too bad. Okay, so moving on, we'll go on to the Euro 2020 Adrenaline XL tin. So we just come in this kind of strange box. Quite interesting. So let's just rip it here. Yeah, it's already ripped a little bit. Okay, cool. I think it needs the box to be able to tell the difference between the two. Does it say Adrenaline XL on it? No, I there? think they're just going to be identical tins, which I just think is a bit of a shame. I'd like it to see a little. something a bit more unique. Do we get a limited edition in here? Yeah. No, no. we get a special card. Okay. We, okay, oh, yeah. we do, yes, cool. So we got a Busquets, so we were kind of expecting like a Master or something, but either way, it's cool. Um, we have a Wonaldum, so that is one we can be adding to the binder, so pretty happy with that. Put that with the rest. And we'll Random just put that to the side, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's kind of pointless to us. And in here we do get three packs, which isn't actually a lot. Yeah, because these tins are quite dear, aren't they? Yeah, I guess the packs are 170 each, so that's probably why. Okay, so hopefully we can get something pretty good. Otherwise, I thought there'd be five packs. I mean, it's going to work out to be a pretty expensive limited edition. Okay, so we have a Batuai. Sabitza. Is that your celebration at the end? <laughs> yeah, video, it is, isn't it? I can't get that card off. A Novak, Dion, and I don't know, all the inserts seem to be randomly here. And then we have a Bucharest. Not sure which one we actually need. Ooh. We do have a multiple. So we have the Belgian Wall. And then we have a Siminski. And a Brickolo. So I'm going to get a one pack here then, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a shame, but I do have something blue, so that's at least good. I hope it's not a Busquets. My pack has a Sule, yeah, that's the hope. A Kaveki. The cards are kind of randomly stuck together. Yeah, I had a hard time. That is two. So Joe Allen, a Tuomanin, then Brebeck, as you, did you get that one? I got like a random one at the end, yeah. Our blue is a key player, Rakitic. We got the Belgium lineup and a Ronaldo ah, captain. I think we actually need that. So oh, that okay, is awesome. Awesome, yes, that is a really good one. Okay, so last pack for the Euro 2020 cards. Hopefully, we can get something really good here. Maybe a master. We still need four, so that would be nice to see. Okay, so let's just go for it. See what happens. We have a Mambu. Mbabu. But why do I always get him wrong? Why do I get him wrong? Promise. A Larson. Then we have a Tectomir. Okay, then seems like our inserts there again. So we have a Klitsch. And then for the inserts, we do have a Gold Machine. Rodrigo. Or a Rodrigo, yes. And then we have the Sweden badge. And a Dragovic, fans' favourite. So yeah, the highlight there was the Ronaldo, I'd say. But we've got one more tin left, and that is the Euro Preview stickers. As we said, it is the same tin, we think. And it does come with 10 packs in here. So let's see if we can find a way to get this open. I think the bottom's going to be best, is it? Did you just rip oh, it? I just kind of ripped it. Yeah. It's already mostly ripped anyway. I think that is the best way. So we'll just, is there there? So we'll just compare the two tins, because you're saying this, they are the same yet. Yeah. That is slightly disappointing. If it wasn't for that box, you'd get mixed up. But it is a nice hinge tin. Oh yeah, so the mini tins bonus. are pretty nice. It just seems uh, maybe a little lazy. Perhaps. But we've got 10 packs here to get through for the preview collection for the Euro 2020, which is now Euro 2021. 20, difficult, quite, quite difficult to say, isn't it? It's going to be quite strange, isn't it? To, for it to be like an odd number. Tiago, Dries Mertens, yeah, and then we'll have the World Cup the year after. A Miras, Ankerson, and a Schlager, who we seem to get every time we open these. Yeah, I don't know what it is about them. It's Maybe crazy, isn't it? card in the team. The only <laughs> sticker in the team. Maybe. Okay. Sticker card. So I'm not hopeful to be getting very much good stuff from here. I don't really have much luck. So we have a Rondon. A Rondon? Yorin. Yorin, ah, okay. Not even close. Yorin then. Okay, and then we have an Insigne. There's two there. A Sorry. And then we have half of the Spain team. And yes. alright, that's quite cool. So it's Gilzy. Yes, that's yeah. really awesome. I like that one. Yeah, we ever seem to 
have really, really good packs, which don't come around too often, but mostly we get nothing in these packs. Is that the case for you guys as well? We have the Italy team, half of the Italy team, sorry. Then Fernandez, Perisic, Elvedi, and a Mario Rui. See, that's our third pack, and we haven't had a shiny yet. Yes. Three non-insert packs. It's quite disappointing. Maybe they should have just waited to release the second until next year. It is a bonus collection, I guess, so you have to yeah. look at it like that. Okay, so we have an Augustin. Is that two again? Yep. Then we have a Carvajal. And a Zuma. And then Daniel James. And we're going to end with a Bergwijn. What a Spurs player. That was a bad end. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing yet, still. And we go the whole team without getting anything. So we have a Lunev. A De Jong, Luke De Jong. Half the Turkey team. Tammy Abraham of England. And a Yakola. Okay, so halfway through, no shinies. <laughs> Can the second half be like really awesome? Maybe that's where all the shinies are. I definitely think they need to, to include more shinies and inserts in these packs. Yeah, definitely needed something else. It's been the case a couple of times when we've opened these stickers. Okay, so we have half the, I don't know, the Spanish kind of celebration y thing. And a. Quebec. Quebec. Then we have a. Glinger. Ronel. And a Matudi. There's still no shiny. How many packs are left? Four? Yeah. Six packs, no shiny. Madness. Way. We have an M Ray. That's our first shiny. Matondo. Waz. Half the Denmark team and half the Finland team. Yeah. Okay, let's crack into the rest of these packs now. So we'll probably get one pack where we get two shinies because that usually is the case. Yay, I got a shiny! <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Okay, no, nice. <laughs> okay, we have a Sancho, so that's quite an interesting one to get. We're not really collecting this, but we will probably keep hold of that one. Best pull. And then we do have a shiny Zuba, Zuba which we've yes. had twice already. Oh, okay, we've got two there shinies go. in here. There we go. Okay, so we have a Rakitic, and then it's the Van Dyke shiny, that's quite cool. And then we have a Klavinsky. That's probably our highlight pack. Van, Van Dyke, Van Dyke is pretty and cool. Sancho in a pack together. And here's your friend, Backlick. <laughs> With the Keeper pack, because we've also got Skrupski. Company's ruined it. We've got Zoet and Schlutz. Okay, so last pack for the opening. So be sure to let us know in the comments which team you think has been the best. I would say not this one. No, no definitely not. Okay, so it looks like another non-shiny pack. We have a Brabeck scrap. And then we have half of the England sort of celebrations. So that's quite cool. A Summer. And finally... Cornelius. Cool. Born with Cardiff. So just to sum up that tin, we got two packs of shinies in. Out of ten packs. So eight non-insert packs. Two shinies in one pack and one in another. Bad, bad tin, I'd say. But we did get lucky because we did get the Golden Baller Van Dyke, which is the last Golden Baller we need from the Adrenaline XL Premier League tin. Yeah, so really, really happy about that. And then we added the list limited edition as well from the Euro cards, whichever tin that was. I'm not actually sure now, to be honest. And that's pr probably about it, actually. Nothing too amazing after that, but still good. And like we said, we want to know which of these tins is your favourite. I know a lot of you liked the sticker collection this year, but yeah. what else did you open if you did open that? Yeah, and that is the season review for Panini collections this year. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, but for today, that is going to do it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.